Digitally drawing over a photo can have a lot of possibilities. It can include formal drawing, doodles, patterns, and text. Do an online search to see different approaches. This can be done freehand or by tracing over another image. In this video, I'll quickly show you how to do both to get you started. How to draw over a photo in Procreate. I've gone and collected two images. The first image here will be used in the background. I'll then use this second image to trace and overlap on the other photo. I have them saved in the Photos app. Here's what it will look like when finished. So let's go and open Procreate by clicking on the icon. From the gallery, we will go up to the right and click on the plus sign to create a new document. I'm just going to choose A4. The doc gets created and using two fingers, I pinch and turn to rotate the canvas. Next, we want to import the photos we're going to use. Click the wrench icon, which is Actions. Select Insert a Photo, and your photos library will open. I'm going to select my background image first, and you see it gets placed in the middle of the canvas. I'm then going to select Fit to Canvas at the bottom here, and the photo runs off the frame at the sides, and for my purpose, this is okay. I just click this arrow at the top, and it's kind of like clicking Enter. You see if I press this S like button, I can go back into edit mode. You can drag a corner to enlarge the photo or to make it smaller. Or you can simply use two fingers to pinch and zoom. And if you are ever unhappy, simply press the undo button located here on the left. Now let's put in the second photo. Select the actions button, select insert a photo, your library opens, and the photo is placed in the center once selected. I'm going to select fit the canvas again. Now I'll demo a resize by dragging a corner inwards. You notice as I move this image around, these lines are appearing and the photo is snapping. This is because I have uniform and snapping selected. I'll select freeform and then press snapping to turn off magnetics and snapping. Now when I move the photo, it is much more fluid and smooth. So I'll go and press the arrow at the top to set it. At the top right here, we have our color palette. I'm going to select white because I think it will contrast well with the background. Next over here we have our brushes. There are a lot. For my purpose, I like to use the studio pen or technical pen located under the inking section. And I'm just going to test the thickness of the line by scribbling on the photo. And then select undo. You can increase or decrease the size of your brush here just by sliding it up or down. If we go back into the brushes and tap the selected brush we are going to use, we get some options on how we want the line to perform. Under Stroke Path, we can adjust spacing if we want a dotted line. Jitter has an effect as well. The main one is Stabilization. We can adjust the amount by sliding here. This kind of fixes your line and can be useful if you have shaky hands. You can see the difference here as I play with the slider. I will leave mine low and exit. So if you have never used Procreate before, it works similar to Adobe programs where everything is based on layers. Every time you import a photo, it will be placed on a new layer. These little tick boxes here turn a layer on or off. So I'm going to go ahead and trace this flower image. To do this, I will draw on a new layer by clicking the plus sign. I want to do this because afterwards I will turn off or delete this flower image. If you tap on the layer, some more options will appear. I will go to the top and select Rename. I don't really need this for this demo, but it is useful once several layers start to build up for other works you may do in the future. It will help you identify, organize, and keep track of what is on each layer. I'll now select my brush and start tracing. If using an Apple Pencil, keep in mind that it's also pressure sensitive. I'm going to speed this part of the video up now, but all I'm going to do is just go around the flower tracing its shape. As you do this, use two fingers to pinch and rotate so that it is more comfortable. It's always easier to draw towards yourself. If you make a mistake, remember to simply hit the back or undo button. So I'm done and now I will go to the layers panel and deselect the photo layer to turn it off. I can also go up to the selection tool here and do a quick freeform trace around this photo. This will allow me to edit it. As before, I can drag a corner to increase or decrease the size. Make sure you select Uniform if you wish to constrain the photo with the same aspect ratio. 
You can also move it around to another area of the canvas as well. We can use this green circle if we wish to rotate it. I'll then press the neighboring arrow here to exit or place the item. I'm going to go into the layers panel here and swipe this layer to the left. From the options that appear, I will select duplicate to make a copy of the layer. So you see another layer appears, but we can't see a second drawing because it is appearing perfectly over the first one. To move one of the drawings, I'm going to go to the top here to trace or select around the drawing. I can then move it to wherever I want and as before, adjust the size of it, etc. There's one thing I want to show that you may need to be careful about. See how the flower here on the right is running off the frame? I have gone and set it already. I'll just quickly duplicate this layer to show you. I want to now move it, so I'll trace around to select it. Notice when I move it now, that part is still cut off. I just wanted to draw your attention to this. So I'll go ahead and make a few duplicates of the layer, play with scale, and move them around. You can get some interesting effects when drawings overlap. Once done, go to the wrench icon or action tab. Click on share. Select the format you want. I will use JPEG. It prepares the export and then you need to select a save destination. Click on save image and this will go into your photos app. I'm going to turn off my drawing layers. Alternatively, you can also simply freehand draw or doodle over a photo. We do this like before, just create a new layer and start drawing. If you press and hold any layer, you can rearrange the order. Whatever layer is on top is what is seen closest to you. For this demo, it is not really necessary to keep in mind. Draw whatever it is you like and when finished, go to the wrench icon or action tab and click on share. Remember, you can also change the color of the line if needed. Thanks for checking out this video. I hope you found it useful and gained some insights. Feel free to subscribe, hit the like button, or leave a comment or suggestion below. What will you go and design today? This has been a Boo Video Production. Boo